for Real Treat Hall of Fame broadcaster Ernie Anastas. Now joining our Pix Loving family. Yes, veteran <laughs> journalist has a storied career, which includes more than four decades on air right here in New York. He's also the winner of multiple Emmy Awards. And after many years of anchoring newscasts, he continues to tell stories, but now with a very positive spin. Take a look. Best advice for people who are now thinking about their first job, second, or career changes, what do you say? Or fourth or fifth. <laughs> yeah, right, could be. Yeah, I mean, keep going and pursuing. The, the, the problem is people have a hesitancy to sort of put themselves out there and to take that risk. And um, it's just, you know, if you're one foot in front of the other, it's the small steps, the small steps that add up to, to bigger, larger steps of success. How, how important is enthusiasm? Well, you like, well, like you, everyone should be as enthusiastic as you, and then everyone would be set. <laughs> yes, right. enthusiasm so that is just a peak of Positively <laughs> America with <laughs> Ernie Anastas, which Thank can now guys. be seen right here nice on Sunday morning. So joining Happy us this morning everybody. is the host. Ernie and my, 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 my. So good to see oh, you guys so here. I'm so happy oh, here. You know, we go back a long way. Yes, I'm we sure. do. Hazel, Dan, good to see you. Yes. I mean, this is like family style. It is. Go. It's like a family reunion. Uh, I mean, and, yeah. it, and you always have this positive energy in the newsroom, which makes it so fitting yeah. that you're doing a show that has all positive stories. So tell us about well, it. Well, you know, I, I love it because, you know, I've been on the air, as you know, four decades in New York, and, and going on the air at night and saying good evening and then telling people why it's not, right. uh, <laughs> oh, I got yeah. to a point where I said, look, we need a balance. Yeah. And so I would always do the news, but also look for stories that were more uplifting mm -hmm. and positive in spirit. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm concentrating, you know, and it has to do with everything, family, uh, yeah. relationships, health, technology, you name it, that's what I do. I mean, Love it's it. amazing, too, because you got a million-dollar smile, right? And you're going to make everybody wake up on a Sunday morning now and smile. So the first episode airs this Sunday. What can people expect from the first episode? Well, you know, uh, th there are wonderful episodes, and, and we chose a lot of variety. I mean, I'll, I'll talk about, for example, uh, new careers. Mm. Uh, what do you do? Artificial intelligence, big mm. time. And so people are concerned about where they go with their next job. And so what we do is we talk about that, and then we also have interviews with people like Bob Costas, nice. uh, great wow. sportscaster, yeah. um, Allison Victoria. I mean, she's great from uh, HGTV. And, and we just talk about personality and why they are happy and what makes them happy. Yeah. So it's lifting people up. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So what is your episode about this week? Well, you know, we are talking about that, uh, jobs and opportunities that people want. We also want to talk about education. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of young kids are looking for careers, mm -hmm. and where do they go? When I was going to junior high school, which was not too long ago, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had a great teacher, Miss Evelyn Ryan, and she said to me, Ernie, uh, what do you like to do when you're, you know, having spare time? And I was 13 years old, and I yeah. said, you know, I had a little radio station in the basement. And I said, I like to play radio. She said, that's it. Whatever you enjoy doing will be the avenue to your success. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I go out and talk to kids, I've written, as you know, a couple of books. Yes. And I'll ask young kids, what do you like to do in your spare time? And they have hobbies. Some of them are artists. And I say, look for a career that's related. Because when you have passion, mm -hmm. when you, don't you love what you do? Yeah, I yes. love it. And if you love what you do, and if you have that kind of enthusiasm every day, you'll always feel good. There's another great line. I may age, but I'll never be old. Mm. And what does oh, that I mean? It means that. a spirit. It, it yeah. means your attitude. If you still feel like a child in your heart, in other words, basically, if you believe that you still have things to do, places to go, that you haven't yeah. done it all, then you have an excitement and an interest in life. Yeah. Mm. And, and that, to me, is what really makes a difference. People sometimes say, you know, you, you look young, you feel young. And I'm saying that's what it is, because right. I yes. love life and I love people. Yeah. we got to love what you yeah. do, well, we too. we love oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. And especially for the hours we wake up, if we didn't love it, <laughs> I mean, you got to love, you gotta love what you do. Yeah, and right. you know, people get depressed, too. I mean, are yes. we all done here? I, I, I don't ahead. want to interrupt you. Go ahead, one more. Go ahead. I, I'm just going to say that, that, that people have to make sure, especially in these times, when there's so much divisiveness in our country, oh, course, when there's yeah. a lot of hate, anger, and violence, and we've all witnessed that, and yeah. I've seen it over the years, we need this now more than ever. And people are crying for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I see the, the program and then they respond to it, they say, I want this, I want more of it. So right. that's what we're hoping to give Good. here. And I'm happy to be part of Pix11. Oh, yeah, well, we are so glad you. to have you. I'm really, we're so uh, happy to have you back on the air. So it's Well, wonderful. I feel like I'm part of New York, and uh, oh, you, know, you are. say, New York's very own. Well, that's what we are. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank You're you so much. Part of the there fabric of this city for sure, Thank Ernie. You. Thanks so much for coming in. So Positively America with Ernie and Estes airs right here on Sunday mornings at 6 o'clock. You do not want to miss yes. it. Great to have you here. Mm.